Okay, in this problem we're asked to use cofactor expansion to compute the determinant of our matrix with row 1 as 1, 2, 3, 4. Row 2 is 2, negative 1, 1, 0. Row 3 is 3, 2, 0, 0. And row 4 is 4, 3, 0, 0. Okay, so first when, we look, when we're looking for cofactor expansion, um, we want to figure out which, which would be easiest. And it looks like to go along column number 4 would be easiest since 0 times all of those determinants will be 0. So, so we have 4 times the determinant or times negative 1 to the power of, we're in row 1, plus column 4. So it's negative 1 to the fifth power. And then times the determinant of our matrix there. So we have So our, made, our determinant that we're looking to compute is 2, negative 1, 1, 3, 2, 0, and 4, 3, 0. And notice that as we go along our fourth column, we'll have 0 in this position for all of our remaining cofactors. So uh, we'll have 0 times anything is 0, 0, 0. So when we sum those, we just get 0. So our determinant simplifies to what I've written here. And we know that negative 1 to the fifth power is negative 1. So we have negative 4 times our determinant. And we'll go ahead and use cofactor expansion again. And this time we'll do it on the third column because we see that we have a 1 and then, again, zeros. So multiply this by 1 times negative 1. And this time, we're in the first row and the third column. So we have one plus, negative 1 to the power of 1 plus 3, which is 4, which negative 1 to the fourth power is positive 1. So this whole term will simplify to negative 4. And then we're going to take this 1 times the determinant of our matrix here. 3, 2, 4, 3. So. And we know how to compute the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. We have 3 times 3 minus 4 times 2. So our determinant simplifies to negative 4 from before times 9 minus 8, which equals negative 4. So our determinant using cofactor expansion of our 4 by 4 matrix is just negative 4.